So this came in the mail today. Mysterious white box. So let's see what's inside. Oh, got some paperwork. And it is a dimmer. Oh, I remember buying this off of eBay. Um, why did I buy this? Like I don't need a dimmer, but it was $3 free shipping. So kind of a cool project box, uh, three bucks. I figured, well, what is it for three bucks? It must just be a resistor. And that must be, a, it just must be a, a resistor inside, but it's got a, cru a cool little terminal on the outside. Now it claims it's 12 to 24 volts, eight amps, eight amps. So you imagine eight amp dimmer, it must be a big giant resistor or a circuit. So comes with a little pamphlet, uh, 12 volt, 24 volt, uh, eight amps function can achieve stepless dimming, stepless dimming. Oh, here we go. So you put in your 12 volts and then you hook up all your LEDs. So it's a, a light dimmer hook up all your LEDs, um, like one of those strips that have the built-in resistor so you can run it off at 12 volts, and then you can dim it. So, uh, let's see, let's get a screwdriver out, and let's take off, the, take out the screws. All right, uh, the top come off. Feels like it. There, there we go. Oh. So inside we have a rheostat, tensiometer, and a circuit board with nothing on it. Hmm. And a connector type. So these are those connectors that you can, they have a, screw down terminal strip and then it turns into a plug. So that's, 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 that's kind of cool. Let's see, is there one more screw on the, uh, on the, holding the PC board down. So let's pull that. Oh, there is circuit. Okay. So we do have a circuit and a bunch of stuff actually. Um, I'll have to put on a different lens, but there's, Two ICs, uh, looks like a FET or something. Uh, looks like a, maybe a voltage regulator. Wow. Yeah, let me, uh, hmm, interesting. Let me, uh, let me uh, change lenses. All right, that should be better. Uh, wow, these are real tiny. Uh, let's see, where's my magnifying glass? Um, we have a 555. Let's see, where's something to point with? Where's my, where's my pen here? It is. So, oops. So this chip on the upper side here, that is a 555. And the other one is a LM, LM358, so an op amp. So timer, op amp, uh, a 78L05, so a five volt regulator. So power comes in here and power comes out here. So in and out. And the in power goes through a diode and a resistor to the voltage regulator, 100 ohms. So diode, 100 ohms, voltage regulator. So this stuff must run off of five volts. And um, the potentiometer. So let me, uh, See if I can trace this out a bit. I'll draw, I'll draw a diagram. We'll try to figure out what's going on here. Okay, this is what I think is going on. Let's see here. Am I zoomed in too far? I think so. Uh, so uh, there is an input. So in and uh, in goes through a, a diode and a resistor to a three terminal regulator. So 
78L05. So that's pretty standard stuff. So now we have uh, plus 5. And uh, this is ground. And then the output looks like this. Um, so let's see, these are tied together. So the, uh, the input uh, goes out here, so the plus 12 comes out, and then there's a n-channel FET that modulates the ground. So there's some kind, some kind of pulse modulation or something like that, or, or a current source or something here. Um, so the way that this works is there's a... Uh, op amp that's our uh, 358 and it's hooked up to 5 volts and the um, plus side goes to the potentiometer and it looks like this Uh, I think this is plus 5. These are 910 ohms. I'm not quite sure how how many ohms the uh, rheostat is, but it doesn't really matter. Just a voltage divider. So it sets some voltage here on the plus pin. And then there is a uh, I have five five that has plus five on ground, and then plus um, the basic circuit of a five 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 is this. So in terms of the uh, five five five, are two threshold voltages, um, one third of the VCC and two-thirds of the VCC. And they start charging this capacitor, so the capacitor will charge up. And then when it hits the two-thirds mark, it flips and it starts charging down until it hits the one-third mark, and then it starts going up again. So these two voltages here are one-third of uh, five volts and two-thirds of five volts. So basically, these aren't triangular waves. They're 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 RC RC ramps. So they're they're curved. But oops, can't see that, can you? Sorry about that. So uh, this is the circuit of the five five five. Two uh, two resistors and a capacitor, and um, they 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 charge up to two thirds of five volts, and then they go back down to one third of five volts, and then two thirds of five volts, and one third of five volts. So this charge and discharge circuit here. Uh, this is a 1K, this is a 10K. Um, so it's just doing this. Bop, 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 bop. It's just doing that. And so they're going to take that and they're going to run that into the op amp. Okay? So they're using the op amp as a comparator. So, um, so let me, let me uh, draw another diagram over here. Okay, so here's our here's our waveform, and then we're going to set some threshold. Okay, and this threshold is set by this this resistor here. So some some, and then the uh, op amp is going to fire, and then it's going to wait and it's going to fire again. So that's the way it's going to work. So it's going to act as a comparator. So as you change the uh, change this voltage, it goes up and down. So it'll if it's down here, it stays on longer. There'll be some short periods where it's off, and if you move it uh, 
up, it'll stay on for a short period of time. So long periods of time, short periods of time. So it acts as a pulse width modulation. So that's all there is to it. Um, that is the whole thing. And uh, for three bucks, it's pretty good. You get a uh, you get a fancy uh, fancy FET. The FET is actually rated to 20 amps, but there's no heat sink here, so they derated it to eight amps um, with no heat sink. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's hook this up on the oscilloscope and see if we'll see if we can watch the 555 timer go. All right, uh, I turned the room lights off so we could see better, but I have it hooked up to uh, 12 volts and I'm going to monitor the gate of that FET and see if it's modulating the, uh, the gate of the FET. And there it is. And then let me turn the knob and you can see that the uh, pulse width is changing. So that makes sense. If I go all the way, it stays on, so full on. As I go to the other way, it goes to full off. So that's pretty cool. So it is a real circuit. If you put a load on this thing, then it would uh, be able to modulate the ground lead, turn on, basically open and disconnect the ground lead, and then short the ground lead through the FET. Um, so the plus 12 stays constant, but the ground connection whacks up and down with this control signal. Um, and so I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, it's a real circuit. It actually is a good design. And um, yeah, for three bucks. Wow. <laughs> That's, that is pretty amazing. Turn the room lights back on here. So... Yeah, I'm monitoring the uh, gate. Oh, let's uh, let's take a look at the. I think it's pin two of the. Yeah, there we go. Here's here's pin two. Oh, I'll turn the room lights back off. So that's the that sawtooth signal that I talked about, um, going up and down and up and down and up and down, and then the. Uh, that DC bias voltage then cuts that to and runs it into a comparator. So, yep, as expected. Three bucks. I like it. Three bucks. <laughs> it actually is a pretty heavy duty circuit, I think. Uh, probably can handle that eight amps.